Hey girls, I know I haven't spoken to you guys since my last video. Um, I just wanted to apologize for that. A lot has happened. Um, a lot of craziness has happened, but I'm finally able to actually sit down and do a video. Um, obviously from my parents' couch. So I just wanted to kind of um, explain what happened um, in my last video. And that was the one where I had spoken about how I was admitted for contractions. Um, they were thankfully able to stop the contractions after um, I was given a cocktail of medication. Basically, they started out with giving me proc Procardia, which is what I'm taking now. Um, then they gave me Nifedipine because the Procardia wasn't working. And then um, once that didn't work, they tried to give me fluids. And after that, it didn't work. So then they ended up giving me magnesium. And I actually had that with Dallas. And... They gave me a higher dose this time around because I was so early and because I was still contracting even on the magnesium. Um, I think I was at like 3 grams per hour or 2 grams per hour. It was it was somewhere around there, but it really kicked my butt. It made me feel like crap. Um, if anybody has had magnesium, you know what I'm talking about. You just kind of feel like you have a really bad flu. I'm thankful that the magnesium worked. Um, I was sent home with a prescription of Procardia, which is what I'm still taking. Um, I'm still contracting even though I'm taking the Procardia, but the contractions aren't progressing. Um, and then a few days ago, I was in labor and delivery again for contractions, and they found out that I am dilating. Um, so I was put on bed rest, and I'm actually at my parents' house right now, and um, that's a whole other thing that I really don't feel like getting into, but um, everything's okay um, as far as that goes, but... Um, I'm thankful to be able to getting help, you know, somewhat help here while I'm on bed rest. I'm not sure how long my doctor plans on keeping me on bed rest. Um, I know that he told me to stop taking the Procardia once I reach 34 weeks. And um, I was also told that if I were to go into labor then or after 34 weeks that they wouldn't stop my labor, that they would just let me go because um, by then she would be considered, her lungs would be... Um, able to breathe, she'd be able to breathe on her own. I'm hoping that I can make it to my Schedule C section, um, which is December 4th, um, and I will be having her here in my hometown. She's actually doing really well. She's tolerating this <laughs> better than I am, for sure. Um, every NST that I've had, she's done perfectly fine. She's done everything that she needs to do. Um, even while I'm having the contraction, she hasn't had any D cells in her heart rate or anything like that. And she moves all the time. I definitely call her my little mover um, or my little fish because she just moves all the time. She never, I swear she just never stops, um, which makes me really happy. Basically, I'm just kind of um, just trying to relax and get as much sleep as I possibly can. Um, it's been a little difficult because I am still contracting, so sometimes... Uh, the contractions will be regular and they will hurt. Um, other times they don't and I just they're just annoying and it feels like I can't breathe when I get them because it kind of squeezes everything together. Um, I'm just really tired but I'm trying not to complain too much because I'm thankful to still be pregnant. Um, especially because, you know, this is the farthest I've made. I've made it in my pregnancy, um, in any of my pregnancies. And I'm 33 weeks today. So... I'm just, I'm happy to be this far into the pregnancy, and even though things aren't going the way that I planned and the way that I hoped, um, I'm still really thankful and grateful that she's still in there, and I pray that she makes it to her Schedule C section. Pretty much it, guys. I'm sorry for a really short update. Um, I just wanted to make this quick. Um, if any of you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comments below. Um, and I also really wanted to thank everybody for the support and prayers and just kind of helping me through this time. Um, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. And um, I'm just really thankful that, you know, there are people out there that, you know, understand what I'm going through because sometimes you do feel like you're alone. I give a shout out to my family and to Dave's family for being so supportive. Um, you know, want to keep up to date on what's going on, you can follow me on my Facebook like page, which I'll have linked down below. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to use Instagram anymore because my phone broke. Um, so I'm only able to use Facebook and Twitter, and I usually only use Twitter to post my videos. 
Um, but everything else I'll post on my Facebook page as far as like what's going on with the pregnancy and everything like that. So if you guys are interested, you can follow me on there. Um, but I will let you guys go and I will try to make another update um, next week.